Oh shit, what happened? Good morning. Morning everyone, I'm over here too. I'm driving though. <laughs> I've got responsibilities. Um, we are heading out. We just left the campground. And we are driving into Cortez to go mountain biking on the Main Loop Trail at Phil's World. Now we mountain biked um, a different trail at Phil's World the last time we were here in Cortez, the Cortez area. So we're looking forward to trying out a different trail. So we're gonna take you along with us. Look what we have up ahead, a cattle crossing. This is the first one we've ever seen. This is exciting. Look at the cowboys on the horseback too. It's like <laughs> Yellowstone. Yeah, Yellowstone. Look at them. That's pretty cool. The closest thing I've come to, Michelle wasn't in the car when we were up near Capitol Reef last year. Um, there was a sheep herd that was uh, well, they weren't crossing the road, the road. They were actually running down the one side of the road to the next pasture. So this is the first time that we've uh, seen. Oh, there's a couple loose cows. There's one one calf yep. is going up yep. the hill instead. Yep. Cowboys <laughs> running up there to get them down there with the rest of the this crew. This is so neat. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> All right. We made it to the trailhead. We are excited to do the main loop here at Phil's World. For those of you who uh, checked our video out a week or two ago, you saw I went mountain biking over in Greer and had some complications. Well, I'm hoping to have fixed those complications. Um, I have two new tires on here. We got Continental tires, and this time I'm going away from tubes, and I went tubeless. So I watched several YouTube videos and learned how to convert over from tubed tires to tubeless tires. It was fairly easy. Um, you know, I wrung my hand a couple times trying to get one of the old tires off, but it's 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 okay. I'm, I'm, I'm excited about these new tires. Hopefully I won't get any flats because they've got a goo inside that fills the fills the flat if you run over a pricker or, you know, cactus or something so but yeah we are just getting ready to take off on this trail so we're excited and one last thing I had to show you all right I'm at the uh, trailhead here we came just around the corner from that pavilion we were parked in and we're riding clockwise as it says it's a one-way tr one-way trail around so um, I'm pretty excited to take you guys especially on a section called the rib cage I actually did the rib cage last year when I came out here by myself um, and so Michelle's never ridden it, so it'll be exciting to uh, get some film of that. She just ran back to the car. She forgot her gloves and she needs them. Um, you know, this is about a 10 and a half mile trail, so she definitely needs her gloves for this, uh, for this ride. So she ran back to get the car to get those, and then we'll be taking off here shortly. All right, my GoPro is acting up a little bit. I uh, just tried to get Michelle coming down through this ravine, but... Uh, all of a sudden the GoPro powered off, so I'm not sure what's going on. Um, unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to put you guys up on the top of my helmet at any point today because I forgot the little screw knob that holds the camera up there. Usually there's one up there, but I broke it when I was downhill mountain biking the other day. And uh, so I'm just gonna have to hold this sometimes when I'm riding and show you from that angle. About six miles in, taking a little break. Michelle's eating her pretzels. Munching some pretzels. I had, of course, pepperoni and string cheese. What are you thinking of the trail? I like it a lot. It's challenging, but this trail system is just amazing. Amazing. Yeah, it's probably one of the my favorite trails that I've ridden on. The nice thing about it is 
just when you get to the point of climbing that you think, okay, I'm, I'm done, I'm going to walk it, there's a subsequent downhill right, right there after it. So they, they planned it pretty well so that you're not spending large periods of time climbing for one long downhill. It's, it's ups and downs and it's pretty flowy. Mm -hmm. um, and we're also out here on what's called the lemon drop loop. And uh, we haven't seen another person, even though the trailhead was pretty busy for being a Thursday morning. Um, so uh, I don't think this trail gets a lot of attention, but it's in fairly good shape. I mean, there's some sections that looks like people had ridden when it was muddy, but other than that, it's it's great, great shape. So um, we are heading on. We So we just hit about six miles. And so I think we about have about four and a half left, including the rib cage. So just we'll take taking a scenic long. overlook here at the Cortez or Aja or Ajo. Avaho. Avaho. Avaho scenic Avaho. overlook. Uh, what is it? Abba, Abaho. A-B-A-J-O. Yeah, what she said. It's the overlook here over Cortez, which is right down there. What happened to your leg, Michelle? Oh, I was putting my bike down. Oh, I, it's bleeding. I gouged myself. Ooh. Okay, update. So I just went through this little crevice here and must have hit the separation right there just right. And I think my tire, the rim seal, separated and squirted out a little of the goo that was inside it. You can, I don't know if you can see it there. So luckily I have one more CO2 cartridge, so I pumped the tire back up. I can't hear anything leaking, so hopefully it'll be okay. Um, but uh, if not may have to walk back at some point but fingers crossed it didn't completely deflate but it's feeling pretty good now so we better get going we made it to the rib cage michelle's now taking on the first portion of it i'm gonna have her actually go first and ride past me We finished it we did. with a uh, oh. with a tire filled with air so that's a good sign so good. hopefully good. hopefully that was the last little burst of co2 that I needed to be able to seal that rim um, but yeah it held up the rest of the way that rib cage was fantastic so hopefully oh, yeah that was fun we got some good uh, video of it and uh, we are now heading into Cortez just to drop off our garbage get some Diet Mountain Dew at the Maverick and maybe pick up some stuff for Sean and Lauren if they need it. But uh, we had a great time. It was oh, just yeah. right around 11 miles today. So mm -hmm. uh, real good ride. I started getting a little bit of cramps in my uh, in my quad um, with about a mile left, but I made it through. Michelle gave me some I asked, I asked him snacks. if he wanted me to massage it and he told me no. <laughs> she never volunteers that. So, all right, we'll be back with you. Checking back in. So Michelle is actually in City Market picking up some groceries for us and for the Austins. And I ran down to the local bike shop to see if they had a pump. I've seen some bicycle pumps that have a extra chamber so that you pump up the bike, the uh, bike pump like you would and it cr creates all the compressed air in a chamber and then shoots it into the tire all at once which is really good apparently for uh, tubeless tires. But they haven't had one and they didn't sell any. However, they did have a little adapter that I can use on my Viair that I use to pump up the camper tires and the truck tires, so even better. And while I was there, um, I had been having some uh, shifting issues on my bike, so I just left both our bikes there and Gonna have them tuned up. Michelle's is not at a tune-up probably in, I don't know, eight, nine, 10 years, something like that. And mine obviously needed a tune-up and they're also gonna check and make sure I sealed the tires correctly. So uh, they said they could get it done in a day, but I told them we wouldn't be back down until early next week. So they got a few extra days. And then, so what we'll probably do one day to come down and get, pick up our bikes and then we'll go hit the trails again. So we really, really enjoyed those trails. So uh, we'll be going to them again, but I uh, just figured I'd give you guys that update. And uh, when Michelle gets back in the car, I'm gonna pretend like 
I uh, parked at the bike shop and her bike's missing out of the back seat. Let's see what she says. She's gonna kick my ass. She may have seen my bike missing, so it may not go well. Your bike's gone. So is my bike. Oh shit, what happened? I went into the bike I went into the bike store. Where's it at? You left them there. <laughs> Don't do that. That's not funny. We lost our tires that way. <laughs> Yes, uh, for those of you who have uh, not been following us for a long time, we were in West Virginia about two months into our full-time life adventure in 2020 and went mountain biking with our friends Brett and, uh, well actually we went with Sig and the kids and we left our front tires sitting next to her truck as we drove off and when I went back they were completely gone. So two months into the uh, Adventures on the road. We had to pay $500 to get brand new front tires for both of our bikes. So uh, <laughs> but, Hey, get, get back or you're not gonna get a tip. No tip for you, sir. So I got him here filling up the uh, the gas for us. Yeah.